Hello, I'm Boyd McMakin with PPL Motorhomes in Houston, Texas, and today we're going to be talking with Jeff Hostetler. Jeff's a representative for Pinnacle Appliances, and we're going to be talking about the stack of wool washer and dryer from Pinnacle, and then we're also going to be talking about the combination washer and dryer units, the vented and the non-vented unit. Thanks for coming in, Jeff. Can you tell us a little bit about the units? Sure. Uh, the combination units that we have here, both in vented and ventless, uh, are the largest capacity combo units in our industry. That means that we can uh, wash and dry more clothes in the pinnacle machines than you can with the competitive products. Uh, also, uh, we do have simple controls, very easy for anyone to be able to operate. Also have a half load feature where if you have just a couple small items that you need to wash and dry, you can do so with less water, less electrical. Um, the Energy Star logo we're proud of because that means less energy uh, less electrical and water consumption again. Each of our machines also feature an exclusive 180 swing of the door, which is exclusive to the Pinnacle product, makes it easier to unload and load, and a larger port pole diameter, uh, again, for ease of loading. And ease of loading. I know some of the uh, washers and dryers on the market today, the door opens about 90 degrees right. and has a little bit small, smaller port hole there. It's harder to get the clothes in and out, so right. the bigger hole and the 180 door definitely makes a difference. Right. I like the Energy Star feature here and the half load feature, but also on a vented model, it's going to dry about, what, 30% more effectively than the non-vented model? Right. Vented would be the preferred because it is the drying process is going to be quicker if we can vent a machine. So you're right, about 30% faster in a vented application. In a vented application. Also know that y'all have a couple of devices in each of these machines to regulate high water pressure to, what does that do, increase the life of the machine somehow? Yes, if, a, if the water uh, pressure at an RV park is too high, that can prematurely wear the machines out. So we include in each of our machines a water regulator that allows us to bring that water pressure down to a safe level. Right. And that's in the combo units and the washer that is, is in correct. the stackable units. Right. Right. One of the most important things I think you and I were talking about earlier is the warranty. Uh, I know that it has a five-year limited warranty on each of the machines. And for me, working with my technicians in the back, I, I, don't, I don't have a appliance technician for washer and dryer. So I think Pinnacle set up appliance ClientsDesk.com. ClientsDesk.com. You can call them. They've got over a thousand service, uh, service centers in North America. We just call them up, and within a short period of time, they're out. They repair the models and take care of whatever problems we have. That is correct. I know that's a big plus on washers and dryers that they can actually come to you or come to my service center and take care of the issues. Sure. So we've talked about the vented and non-vented models, and then we're going to move in to the stackables. Now this, this to me is probably the preferred way to go if you have the space. Right. Right? That, would you agree with that? Yes, if you've got the room inside the RV, the stackable is the preferred because you can do more laundry in a short period of time because you can run the dryer when you're doing your second load in the washer. Right? So you have two loads running at one time basically, and you can't do that in a combo unit. So if you, it, it is a little extra money for the combination, but if you do have that money to spend and you have the space, this is definitely the way to go. A couple of accessories I'm going to talk about real quick here are with the stackable washer and dryer, you want to go ahead and buy the bracket kit also with them. And basically all it is is a piece of metal with a couple of tabs on it here that slide in between the upper and lower unit, come with the screws to screw them down keeps them stabilized as you're going down the road so when you go back there and open your cabinet up, your washer and dryer don't fall on top of you. So the bracket kits are a must. And another thing that's a must for me, I believe, is the drip pan here. Uh, we'll put these under the washer and dryer combo units or the washer stackable units and if for some reason a hose buzzed or you have a leak in the washer, the pan's going to catch most of the water. Right. Right. And that's a big deal for us out in the shop once again, you know, if, if you have a leak in your floor or your wall and you didn't catch all the water, it could be a pretty major expense. So I'd invest the money in the pan whenever you purchase the washer and dryer Absolutely. or the combo units. Sure. Overall, Jeff, it's a great set of products. I appreciate you coming in and talking to us.